Hey, John Marion here with Alpha Dog Investments. Here are three reasons why I do not want to buy your house. Reason number one, your house is too nice. If your house is in great condition, I don't want to buy it. And the reason being is I want to buy a house that needs repairs and I could add a lot of value to the house so I can resell it for a profit. If you have a really nice house, I don't want to buy it. I cannot add value to your house. Reason number two, you're asking too much for your house. When I buy a house as an investor, I'm looking for an opportunity to buy at a discount and to make improvements on the property and resell it for a profit. And if I can't get a good deal on a house, it's not worth it. I don't want to buy it. So if you're asking too much money, I'm not going to buy your house. Reason number three, I don't want to buy your house is because I'd rather list it on the market, collect a commission as a real estate agent and get more money in your pocket even after you pay a real estate commission. That's right. You can actually get more money in your pocket by listing a nice house at the highest retail value, paying a commission and going that way. If you try to sell to an investor, an investor is always going to want to buy at a discount. It doesn't make sense to buy at a full retail value. It's not an investment. Uh, the way I look at it, it's not an investment if I'm paying full value. But there are retail buyers that will pay full value for your house. You will pay me a real estate commission, which I like, and, and that's why I, I don't want to buy your house. And you will get more money in your pocket. And let me explain what I mean by that. We can actually run the numbers on what you net and there's a, what you net in your pocket after the sale of your house. A lot of people don't like the idea of paying a real estate commission, but it's, it's okay to pay a real estate commission if what you net in your pocket is more than selling it without paying a commission. And uh, some people just have a, a mindset block that we, I do not want to pay a commission. It's not right or whatever. They have this idea that they don't want to pay a real estate commission. And I look at, look at it this way. Uh, say gasoline, the cost of gasoline that you're about to buy is $2.20 a gallon. And you know the guy that runs the gas station and you go in there and you bargain with him and you pay, he agrees to sell it to you at a discount of $2.10 a gallon. So you're happy, you go back out to your car, you pump your gas, you pay them, and you're happy, you, you got something. You felt like you negotiated 10 cents off a gallon. And that's great, you did, it gives you a good feeling. Uh, but the gas station across the street, if it's selling it for $2 a gallon, and that guy's not willing to negotiate, he's gonna charge you full price at $2, you're still ahead of the game. Now, you don't have the feeling like you won a deal, or you got a good deal, and you bargained with him. Uh, but for some people, they'd rather have the feeling that they bargained something and got something from uh, the first gas dealer. So it's really perspective. To me, it's not, don't look at the, the concept of paying a commission, but look at your net that goes in your pocket after this deal is completed. And I can run that number for you and almost exact. There may be a few figures that you won't know and I won't know regarding your property taxes and your insurance refund and a few you know, things, uh, but I can get it very, very close to what you will net in your pocket after paying a real estate commission. So those are the three reasons I don't wanna buy your house.